Oh my god, look at this. It's just decimating every block here and giving us insane amount of resources. All right, in this video, we will make the advanced base layout, guys, where you will need to go after you got some of the hell gems. That will be the base requirement for you to get excavating channel that will help you out quite a lot. There are different layouts available that you can use. Here is one of them. It requires you to have four of those excavating channels and then you will have a lot of area to grind. You can also do this. I used this layout before and it was pretty good. And this layout can be combined with other layouts of the same type next to each other to amplify its performance. So before diving into different layouts, I want to explain what's important about them. The most important thing is how many blocks one uh, extra excavating channel can create and overall amount of uh, machines you need in order to mine those blocks. That's efficiency, basically. This layout, if I count it right, have seven blocks per excavating machine that can be mined. This layout have nine blocks, so it's more efficient. It will go to the deeper depth faster so we will create this one moreover it requires less machines per setup and you can expand it easily by creating more of those close to each other and yeah for now you probably would like to leave your basic layout that you have here for getting the basic resources otherwise you might end up um running out of everything if you screw up somewhere and it won't be pretty so let's move to the side a little bit so another thing i would advise guys is to move closer to the stall it's up on the north you will need it soon enough you just have to follow north for some time and you will find this stone north from your basic starting position so this stone is uh, very useful in the end game you will have to go here from time to time so what i would do i would move all my production buildings close to it not like really close not here but somewhere really close so i won't have to scroll between the base and the stone all the time so uh, let's move a bit to the south where our main base is make one uh, excavating channel upgraded to the higher tier excavating channel and start building so here is the very basic layout of what you will have to create and early on you won't be able to make it right because you will need way more resources basically you need all those destabilizers to become hell gem destabilizers i'm not sure if we will have enough resources for that and you will also need bunch of hell gem extractors on each of those sides and yeah we are out of uh, red ore over here already and also we will use underground silos now that will allow us to automate the production finally we reach uh more or less full automation so right now we will place them here let's fill them up and start this thing up so as you can see we can't mine anything because we need those hell gem destabilizers for that and that requires beta piling that we don't have at the moment you need to save up some resources before doing that. And that's the main reason why we haven't built a lot of those things in the main base. So their price wouldn't go that high and we wouldn't have to manually uh, mine all that or sell everything. We will still have this base as a backup base that will help us if we will screw up. But we will have enough resources from that base in order to continue growing. Let's go and buy some hell gem destabilizers so i advise starting in the middle because that will destabilize all of those nodes bam and that will already give us some inflow of resources and don't worry that we are not getting the important resources here because this uh extracting channel as you can see is going down really fast so in no time you will get a lot of red orbs from here and because of the underground silos everything will be fed here for a while so you don't have to manually adjust it all the time by adding and removing things it's not so annoying and i actually like how it works you just put it once and forget afterwards now while the farm is happening we can see that here we have those nodes at the sides and those things are upgraded and you don't need that what's cool about this build that you can start with this basic stuff and then upgrade as you go then you can upgrade all the things uh, add additional features just remember that here you have those things i won't spoil you their name yet they will be available later but yeah they work uh and this is end game build you can use it until you will reach the next important tier i won't spoil it to you but yeah in those couple of minutes we talked about this 
We already got to the uh, red orbs already. Uh, blocks. Why do I call them orbs? And you can see how everything is automated. We don't need to do anything. And it's a bit slow right now. It's not insanely fast because we are using the normal resonators. Uh, at some point, not that soon, but you will unlock the new tier of resonators. And this extracting channel will help you with that. Like, if you will be going with the manual extractors, tier 1, it will take forever. With this one, it will take, I don't know, maybe half an hour when we set up everything here. So I think since the top area works, we can actually move all our production there. Uh, I don't really want to destroy this one, but it might be the better option that will save us some time. Yeah, let's harvest some resources and then we'll sell it. Because the top area will already produce everything that we need for our base. All right, I think we are ready to sell everything. So let's press Q and, and sell all our buildings here. And we will move... Oh, we will move north. Yeah, moreover, it will allow us to get more things in that base. We don't need this anymore. Uh, trust me, it's not really worth it at this point. All the buildings are destroyed. Let's clean this one out. Sell those as well. And sell this too. This should be the last building that you sell. Because uh, it will kind of lower your efficiency of selling building after you destroy it. So now we move north to our new base next to the stone. Uh, don't build next to it. Yeah. Uh, it's not nice. So just build close to it. And yeah, now if we demolish everything, anything, and now if we demolish anything, it will return only 50% of the resources. Let's get the disassembling tower back. Uh, put it a bit to the side. I don't know, somewhere here. Oh, wait, we need recycling tower first. Okay, disassembling tower. Bam, there we go. So now we will have 100% return on all the sold things. That allows us to manually... Um, adjust our build, change the layout without wasting the resources. This is a very important and major upgrade if you want to experiment on your build. So now let's get some Hell Gem Destabilizers. Uh, we got two. That's actually mostly enough. So now you will have most of those tiles ready to be destroyed fast. And uh, you have only one of the tiles left that's not using the hell uh, gem destabilizers you can adjust it and add them here as well for maximum performance or you can leave it running like that it will be okay as well so you don't really have to do that in any case right now you won't have resources for that you can make second uh tier of those buildings since you don't really have a lot of red stones available right now, we can make the second set, second cluster of those mining buildings because we have resources for that. So what you want to do, you want to get another of those things here and you should mirror it. So it should totally mirror this layout. That will make it efficient. So we get the stabilizer here instead of the resonator. At the bottom, we get additional resonator. We get the channel pumps here. Uh, coolers, yeah. The pump is at the bottom. And honestly, at this point, you can already launch it and it will work. You just need to add additional underground silo and you can already run it even if you don't have resources for anything else because this entropy resonator will be able to break this thing right now. So, uh, bam, underground silo. We launch it. It will fill up those things. Those will fill up, yes. You don't need to do anything about that. But those blocks over here will be mined by this Entropy Resonator and this Entropy Resonator, allowing you to get extra resources just like that. And yeah, getting some Hell Gem Destabilization here will also help to get more of that. Why not? Ah, because Industrial first. And then Hell Gem next. And do we have resources for Underground Silo? Yeah. Additional underground silo here for automation. And bam, we are farming more resources in no time, which is increasing our efficiency. So yeah, this layout will allow you to get the fastest uh, growth of your extracting channels. Take a look at that. It's already at 2.3k meters. This is more than we had on our level one extractor. So it's going deep really fast and it will allow you to get extra resources fast. You can also adjust this build a bit to make it different and more efficient, maybe you like it more, by getting destabilizers in the corners of your miner excavators. That will allow you to make it easier to manage, so you won't mess up the location and placement of things. But that will require a bit more resonators, because each of those 
will have to be replaced by the resonator so it might be i don't know depending on what do you have and what do you need in terms of the resources but yeah in any case when you build those things this layout will allow you to go crazy on the production let's get more hell gem destabilizers and we will also need underground silos here so yeah that will allow you to get some production going and you can either go with this setup with the destabilizers in the corners and get in the mines on the outside or with the or with this setup when you have both at the same side it's really a matter of preference at this point both work i kind of like this one more it's easier to manage because uh, sometimes you can mess up the location and we'll be wondering what's happening you can just do this and it will work now, don't forget that you will need your production buildings as well. So this will take some space, right? We will, we know that. And uh, let's get the production buildings going as well. For those, I advise going into the eight of buildings per square like that and making cross out of those. Uh, honestly, you don't want to fill the center, but overall, like this is easier to manage. It's easier to fill. And overall, uh, it's working well, so why the hell not? Just have some space between those and other buildings. You will need it later. All right, we have plenty of different buildings. Now we just need to get more red ore in order to fuel them up. We actually used up all our hell gems here. That's interesting. So yeah, you will have this production building that you can uh, upgrade as the time goes by, that you can get more buildings in because... Um, early on, you might not have enough resources to build all that. You're okay even with one cluster like that i actually played with only one cluster for a long time in the previous game before my save got corrupted that was annoying um but yeah uh it will work so don't really worry about that moreover as you will go deeper and deeper on those mines the ratio of the resources you'll be getting will change uh, don't worry you will get red orbs for a while why i call them orbs red blocks for a while so you should be okay with that so this layout will last for a while later on if you would like it to be more efficient at some point you might want to get entropy resonators in the corners of those tiles because they are not being fed by those um inserters of hell gem inserters and they just normal blocks that take a while to break so uh yeah for now, it works okay. It's just your additional income. But later on, you can put additional resonators there. And uh, that will help you to break the nearby blocks faster. And yeah, don't forget to run your production machines. Because they will be needed. And you will need a lot of resources later on anyway. And yeah, at this point, you might want to get just a bit of underground silos. Don't overdo it. Oh, we got lucky. Because uh, you just need them to fuel up the important machines. And it will still work and it will give you uh, more benefits like that. Just keep in mind that you will need some extra hellstone, hell gem in order to fuel up your important machines. It might run out. I spent 2000 to make this build, but it will earn you way more and really fast. You just need to wait a little bit. So at this point, it's pretty much automation. All you need to do is to fill up those silos. And I think in the latest patch, they were updated. Now they can last longer. Let me check the description. It's still 16 times. So basically, by the video will be out, you will get a patch that will make all machines more effective. So you won't have to refill those silos, those buildings, everything as often. That will allow you to get way more automation as you can see here i'm not refilling them every now and then maybe once every 10 minutes or so and everything's pretty much automatic you can chill relax lay back and see the blocks fly now why do we have those buildings made in the square because we can put underground silos inside it to automatically launch them that will allow us to get well easier production we don't have to manually click on each of those it will last a couple of cycles I think two cycles right now after the update it will be more so uh yeah and it's only one click on the middle building that will fill up everything it will cost some resources for you to get the underground silo running but at some point hell gems won't be an issue for you anymore and at some point this will start happening you will have a lot of hell gem blocks coming up mostly replacing the red orbs that will last for a while but it won't last forever don't worry after that it will come back to normal and you can actually exploit that mechanics on the secondary mines you can create another node in order to do that 
And once this cycle ends and you want to get more hell gems, you can remove your um, extracting channel and get the new one and get to this point really fast, get the gems, reset it again and do it like that. So you can make like several of those in the cluster somewhere a bit far away that will just farm you those hell gems. And yeah, it will obviously help you out with your construction so you can get all the buildings that you want and that will help you drastically with your progression i actually moved to the design where we have uh, the stabilizers in the middle and miners on the outside it might be i'm not sure if it's more or less efficient but it's obviously way easier to manage moreover it destabilizes the corner stones if you will get gems in them they will be mined faster so there are some good things about it it's not perfect anyway but you gotta sacrifice something in order to get the results. But yeah, the main area in this cluster will be this center and you would like to focus on the things on the center. So your priority should be getting more things that work on the center or between those nodes that, oh my God, this is insane. Uh, or just getting those nearby nodes working. And as you can see, I don't have additional underground silo between this uh injector and the other node because it will allow me to get more resources like that later on i might insert it for more efficiency that will um those silos that are here right now they won't expand their resources that fast so i won't have to refill them that often but right now it feels to work like that more efficiently in order to get my god that's crazy amount of beta parotene all right let's get the more pump station uh, no, not pump stations. Let's get more of those converters into the black cubes. There we go. And yeah, at this point, you can build anything basically because you got insane amount of resources in flow that you can spend on buffing your resource inflow or on, you know, getting more clusters. It's up to you. Obviously, if you guys will still have your basic uh, production cluster up and running, things here will be a bit more expensive once you have one of those running already it's no problem you can remove the old stuff because yeah setup like this four clusters will last for a while and you don't need anything else but it at this point of the game you might want to get more prolong it a bit but honestly i don't know if you really need that this will give you crazy resource benefits already let's get the streamer tower to get rid of those annoying blocks flying around okay and field director just to be able to get a bit extra uh, guidance here so if we'll get last we will get the line coming back to the base my god those things are so cheap to set up that you can have multitude of those things working together the only issue are uh, black blocks right now but we can get over that pretty fast by utilizing those converters. So basically, in order to make more production on this side, we will have to get those depth stabilizers up to hell gem depth stabilizers, and then we can run this thing in order to get additional production here. So at some point, somewhere below 6.5k meters, you will start discovering chromolith, and that's a unique resource that you need to um, store otherwise it will just destroy itself you will need containment vessel for this that requires 16 of those resource and we should be able to get that pretty soon and you need to power it up as well so it's not free for use uh let's make it storage over here so yeah you uh have to fuel it and uh, it's a really good idea to build one underground silo next to it as well so you won't forget about it uh, because those things, they will help you to progress quite a lot and they are really important, but uh, you can't forget about them quite easily and they will just disappear. Over time, they will turn into hell gems and uh, they don't exist in this world just as they are. And as you can see, here we are getting a lower and lower amount of hell gems now and we are going back to the red uh, beta piling again, so... Don't worry about that, it will come back. And uh, now the second uh, extracting channel gets the hell gems. And just like that, they will cycle through. So that's really nice. That will help you out on all the resources if you do everything correctly. Yeah, I think going beyond four of those at this point of the game doesn't make sense because you will have to spend more resources on upgrading those industrial destabilizers to hell gem destabilizers right now. And this thing 
it, it's cool, it will help, but it won't work as you want it to work, so it will be wasted resources. So I advise not to go beyond that at this point of the game, but you do you. And at this point, you can use Chromalit to upgrade your miners and Shapirozenators. And yeah, you would like to start at the area where you get Chromalit to make it faster and take a look. Bam, it's been filled with Chromalit and blocks are now disappearing way faster. Look at that. We are getting insane pump over here and each next upgrade will be more costly so you will have to get more storage obviously but that will speed up your progression so much so yeah you should focus on the areas between your um sectors between your clusters because those will give you the most benefits starting with your main cluster to go deeper the deeper you are the better it is and yeah, the difference between Entropy Resonator and Capacitor is that Resonator is just upgraded clicker that will click everything way faster, but Capacitor will click it only once, once the cube will appear, and uh, it will give uh, like six times more damage, so it gives you the chance to break harder cubes faster, just bam, destroying them instantly. Uh, honestly... So far, I only use Resonator 2. This one can be used. You can put it in the corner areas, those things, because they don't contain the Hell Gem injectors. And that will speed up your progression. But I don't think that you need it at this point in the game because cubes are being destroyed fast enough. Moreover, uh, later on, you will be able to get those active channel coolers. Upgrade to the coolers once you will upgrade enough of those miners because... Things are breaking up way too fast, and they will grow faster. That will increase your efficiency, replacing your normal coolers, increasing the rate of farming. Sudden cloth change. <laughs> yeah, it took a bit longer than I expected to make a break. And uh, yeah, my things are in laundry. And this is how the base looks like uh, when you have everything working as intended. Not maxed out yet, but getting closer there. We get more of those... Uh, tier 2 resonators and yeah the synergy mechanics that we have here will last for a while the only thing that you will need to do is to add more of those um, chromolith silos they will get expensive over time quite expensive but it's still worth it and again you would like to upgrade entropy resonators in a proper pattern prioritizing the ones that are already connected with the hell gem the stabilizers that way they can start gaining your resources straight away oh wow without waiting for something at this point your goal is try to maximize it try to get as many upgrades as possible while you are digging deeper because i think at 12 or 17 uh, k meters it will change everything will change you might even get some active channel coolers because um at this point, some of your uh, extractors might not be as fast as you want them to be. It's good, but it could be better. If we install this, bam, look at that. They appear way faster, so they can be mined faster. If you need specific resource, you can actually make this bigger. I advise making a cross pattern. Uh, I've got the blueprints ready for that. So basically, it will go like this. You will get this and uh, to the side as well and just like that you can make cross out of it where you can put those in the, at the sides and something in the middle when you can put silos inside them in order to give you a boost and why this one in the middle later on you'll be able to use it for advanced buff for those things around it right now it is okay to use the silo again if you want to and remember you can always sell your silo and get the resources back and the price will go down so you can basically move it for free the other new thing that you can get right now is catalytic refinery now those things are interesting i advise to place them in the middle here for the blueprint they stay at the sides like here here etc and in the middle you got another ref oh wow another refinery those things are pretty interesting so you put them here you put resources inside and it will gather 1024 resources and it releases with this sound the bonus and the longer it works the more bonus resources it will get going up to 100 so it can actually double your production rate in the middle especially so it can be really good so now we'll place four of those and one of the uh 
Silas in the middle, so it will keep working, because when it's idle, it's really hard to notice. You can see that it's heated up, that means that it's giving you higher production bonus already, and uh, yeah, if you will stop, if your production will stop, it will cool down, but it's heating up pretty fast, so I don't think it's a problem. Let's try placing entropy capacitor here instead of the resonator, so it will help destroying those blacks faster. Bam, take a look at that, they are instantly being wiped out. Now, we obviously need another channel cooler here, so it will go even faster. Let's go. Wow. Yeah, that makes mining those two blocks almost instant, guys. Almost. So yeah, this is how you will upgrade your build, gradually making it better and better and better and better. And honestly, I think one cluster of four of those miners that I have over here is probably enough for anything you can get at least for the first couple of days because you will need a lot of resources to upgrade this and you get as you can see here you get pretty good influx of everything so you don't really need any extra resources right now at least so yeah that's advanced base design for you guys let me know what do you think of this design i like it very much i kind of think this one is uh, one of the meta builds right now that will help you to get through those early parts of the game until you will unlock most of the things don't want to spoil it to you guys so um yeah the only thing that you can get better here is keep upgrading things in order to make them better focus on the center by creating more catalyst refineries that will increase your output automate everything and like look at that instantly destroyed blocks that's always nice to see and yeah don't forget to uh, make more factories and uh refine your resources to be able to get everything that you need so yeah guys that's the base design for you i really like this one and uh yeah it's almost automated you just need to manually load uh, the minor things here it's working great so far don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and check out the video description for the playlist with the rest of the guides and the playthrough and thank you very much for watching it's been stan kosh have a good one bye